Hello friends, welcome to our help videos. In this video, we will take you through the process of enabling enhanced conversions for web using the server-side method for your Google Ads account from the Simprosis Google Shopping Feed app. With this, the first-party data can be captured in your conversion tracking tags and sent to Google in its hashed form, which can then be used to enhance your conversion measurement. So, let's get started. Log into our app and navigate to the Tracking Tags option. Choose Google Dynamic Remarketing and Conversion Tracking. Now, go to the Google Enhanced Conversions for Web section and click the Update App Permissions button. This will redirect to the Shopify page for granting our app permission to access the data. These permissions are needed to allow the app to implement enhanced tracking tags for passing first-party customer data like full name, email, phone number, and address. Click on Update as shown here. This will open the app's interface for enabling the Enhanced Conversions option. Enable the toggle button and click Save. It may show a pop-up stating that Enhanced Conversions is not enabled in your Google Ads account. This pop-up appears if Enhanced Conversions haven't been enabled in your account yet, or if you haven't selected the Google Ads API option as the implementation method. To proceed, first enable Enhanced Conversions in your Google Ads account and choose the Google Ads API option. Once done, return to the app and complete the setup process. Let's see how to enable it in your Google Ads account. Log into your Google Ads account and hover over to the Goals section and click on Settings as shown here. Go to the Enhanced Conversion option, check the Turn on Enhanced Conversion option, and click on Agree. From the drop-down option, select the Google Ads API option since we are enabling enhanced conversions using the server-side method. Now, click Save. Now we will go back to our app and complete the process. Click on the pencil icon and enable the toggle button. Now save this option, and the process of enabling server-side enhanced conversion tracking is complete. After completing these steps, please allow 14 days for Google to collect enough data for its algorithm and then use it to enhance your conversion measurement. During this period, you may notice a needs attention status for your enhanced conversions until Google has analyzed the data. That's all about enabling Google Ads enhanced conversions from the Simprosis Google Shopping Feed app. Hope this helps. If this video helped you, don't forget to like, subscribe, and click the bell icon so you never miss out on the latest updates. Got more questions? Drop them in the comments below or send an email to support at Thank you for watching.